So good to see you. Thank you very much. Yeah, again in, uh, in Athens, and I would you know, very much like to, to thank you personally for the very fruitful cooperation um, with the team of the Ministry of uh, uh, Development. Uh, I think we're quite happy with the fact that we've improved our performance when it comes to the uh, absorption of uh, European uh, funds uh, in the current uh, programming period. Uh, we seem to be uh, very much at the top uh, of uh, the European uh, rankings. And of course, I'm also uh, quite uh, happy that the Greek partnership agreement was, as we have, as we have discussed, uh, the first um, uh, to be uh, uh, approved. Uh, and of course, uh, our recovery plan was also one of the first to be uh, approved. Uh, so now we have at our disposal significant European firepower to drive through uh, you know, what I think is the necessary massive transformation of the structure uh, of the Greek economy when it comes to green, when it comes to digital, when it comes to the just transition. I understand you will be uh, visiting uh, Western uh, Macedonia tomorrow to get an understanding of the scale uh, of the project. But I also need to stress to support competitiveness of small and medium-sized uh, businesses, which of course is a big priority. Um, uh, for us, uh, we understand our businesses need to become more competitive. We have just introduced uh, new incentives uh, to encourage businesses to merge um, and uh, acquire scale uh, through these types of transactions. They will be paying lower income tax uh, for the next uh, uh, three uh, years. But of course, European funds uh, are a necessary tool to help us drive through that transformation. Uh, and finally, uh, I'm also very uh, you know, uh, uh, aware of the fact that when we have different pools of financing, we need to be very clear who does what uh, and to avoid uh, possible uh, overlaps and to make sure that everything uh, adds up to a coherent plan. So I think we have a plan, we have a vision for the country, we have a very good, um, uh, a very good sense of uh, priorities. Uh, we know the regions will be doing much more um, work and we want to uh, strengthen them and those uh, uh, who have uh, um, uh, who have not risen to the challenge, make sure that uh, uh, they also do so and make sure that uh, everything fits into a, a total narrative. So sorry, I spoke a little bit uh, longer than I should, but uh, uh, thank you again uh, very much for, uh, for being here and for all your support. And I also want to congratulate Portugal uh, on uh, uh, the very, very uh, impressive uh, vaccination uh, performance. Uh, we are not there yet, uh, but uh, um, it's, uh, I think, a shining example of what, of what can happen when you fight uh, fake news uh, and when you don't really leave much space to, to those who do not uh, cherish uh, um, uh, science and evidence-based medicine. I was looking at the data today, uh, and again, uh, you know, nine out of ten people in intensive care. We have around 300 uh, today in intensive care in, uh, in Greece are unvaccinated. Uh, and some of them lose their life. And it's a pity. Prime Minister, it is really a pleasure, a pleasure for me, and a sincere one, to come here once again. It was the first uh, country I visited when I was uh, confirmed in, the, in, in, the, in this task. And, uh, and now it is, it is my pleasure to come here. Uh, not that I have a special preference for Greece in relation to all the other countries, but the truth is that Greece was really a front runner and worked very, very hard. And I have to congratulate uh, you personally and your team. Uh, with the, the minister, uh, Adonis Georgiadis, we worked very intensively and with his team uh, because, in fact, we understood the, the, the importance that Greece gave uh, to, the, to these exceptional conditions to, uh, to develop uh, and to, to come out of the crisis. The Commission was, in fact, quite active this time uh, to, to, to create a set of instruments. The first ones that we provided, and you know them, it was CRI, and now it's REACT, and the SURE instruments, so there was emergency support, but now what we have to do is to build back better. And, uh, and in fact, uh, uh, the first framework, so the partnership agreement, with this 21 billion euros uh, that adds up to the RRF, uh, and to the recovery and resilience plan, uh, is in fact a very important piece for, uh, as you mentioned, Prime Minister, exactly to reach 
the objective of having a sustainable development, a coherent development and a cohesive development, uh, and uh, something that really is in conformity and it is the ownership uh, is required to, to bring back the economy, to bring back the jobs, but in a more sustainable way, so in more conformity with the climate, with the new technologies. And I reckon that you are, in fact, looking at the right, the right targets. So now, not everything is done. It's the first country to do it. It's the first country to have this framework agreed. And so our eyes are on you. Uh, we will be very, very interested in developing the details now because, as we usually say, the devil is in the details, but the progress is here, the first steps are done, and of course it's very, very relevant to see that already Greece is starting to grow again, it's starting to uh, rebuild, and we want to really to uh, support this. Of course, its uh, environment is digital, but it is also a more cohesive development that is shared by all citizens independently of the place where they, where they are. But to work out an adequate development strategy, it requires a lot of work and a lot of place-based work going to the ground. And this is the reason why uh, we want also to be together with you and with the regions and with the regions that in particular have a more difficult uh, but here again, we are looking at you, you are examples, you already developed a lot of thinking of how you can evolve uh, from, the, from a very carbon-based, that has no future, carbon-based industry and uh, your progress, your commitments are very, very visible in Europe as well in relation to uh, going to a more sustainable kind of, uh, of, of economy. So thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here in these circumstances and our working together will go on into the next phases. And, uh, and it's very, very, very interesting the kind of dialogues that we established. Also with the possibility now of improving uh, the machinery behind the execution of funds. And uh, I, um, the, the Director General from the Commission of DG Reform is here in a way of a symbolic pre presence as well, uh, because sometimes it is the structure, the invisible machinery that doesn't work properly. It happens here like in other, other, other countries, and in fact, it's important that we also improve the quality of, of, of how to manage and organize projects. So, Prime Minister, it's a privilege to be here with you and a privilege to work with your team. And so, congratulations uh, once again and uh, let's finish what we have started. <laughs> the truth is, we are a, an example of success for European Union. Because during 2020, at this terrible year of COVID, we wouldn't have managed to have this economic performance. We did much better than all the expectations. Everybody thought we will have a recession of 12 to 13%, and we, at the end, had 8%. And one of the reasons we managed to do that was the European funding that we absorbed and managed to uh, put in our, in our economy. So, so in, in one more time, European Union was here for the Greek people. And this is something that it has to be promoted. Uh, in the same story, we worked very hard with Nick and Yanis, of course, especially, and Dimitris, uh, in order to make the apply properly, uh, finish all the details, and uh, have an agreement and uh, have the approval of uh, our plan in July. In 12th of October, it's the three months uh, from the day that you approved our partnership agreement, in 12th of October, we will send all our proposals for the programs. Uh, we have worked hard. We will ready again to discuss the details and to make any other uh, uh, adjustments that you may need in order to work them properly. I have to say that it's very important for us that at least EPANEC would start this year. We will need the funding, Mr. Prime Minister, starting the funding this year. This is important if we manage. So I'm very, very optimistic that we're on the right track. And, of course, the performance of our economy of 2021, that it's much better until now for all the expectations and the predictions, it's one of your successes also.